This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Ruhr Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now at uh, the Mercedes-Benz truck factory in Wörth am Rhein. And, uh, well, it's a bit weird because I'm, I'm on an event, event here for the e-Actros, but the people at the Daimler, or Mercedes, well, Daimler, they're Daimler, right? Daimler. Daimler buses. Yeah. Daimler buses. Uh, they brought an e-Citaro here. And this is not just a regular easy taro it has solid state batteries yes i know you guys want to see this we're going to spend some time with this easy taro and i also have some people from daimler with me so let me see um i'm just going to show you it looks kind of like a regular easy taro except for that the front is slightly different so how is this again um we have one we have some guys from uh, daimler uh yeah yeah what was your name again my name is michael rice and uh, we, we changed the front of the bus because our customer want to show this is an electric driven bus. So this is compared to a future bus. So the front is really, really different. It is a big mark. It's a star in the front and we do have some fins outside so that each, each passenger knows this is the future coming here. This is an electric one. You mentioned that this star was from the Arctos, right? Uh, not, not really. The Arctos is a bigger one, but okay. this is a middle, middle thing. Uh, but it is bigger than in a normal Citaro. Ah, I see. And this is this E Citaro here. So, but other than that, looks like a regular Citaro, except for that. Um, if you go a little bit further away, I'm going to show you something. It is actually slightly taller than the regular Citaro. We'll come back to that, why it's like that. Yeah, that's, uh, as you see, the, it is a little more higher than a normal Citaro. On a normal Citaro, you do have the uh, climate, climate and air conditioning on the roof. We hide with this ceiling the batteries on the roof. We do have, in this case, five batteries on the roof and the air conditioning. The next two batteries are in the rear. We should check out the rear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, where the goodies are. That's what is very interesting. So let's see. Uh, I'll also talk more about it. Uh, you have some, uh, like a dummy or something, what it's called again. We can, we can yeah. come back to that one. We have some, this, this has been loaded also. Yeah. For more realistic test. So here, this is the goodies, right? Yeah, that is the former engine compartment. We didn't uh, change it as well. We just, put in the batteries. This is a solid state battery one, solid state battery two. And we do have some transformers, inverters and other auxiliaries as to uh, produce air for the, for the kneeling and uh, the doors opening. But we didn't change the total vehicle. We didn't change the structure. We just changed the drivetrain from this bus. So the, the customers, if he opens this flap, he knows, okay, uh, there's, there's nothing really new except of the batteries. Huh, okay. Um, let me see, that was the... What was inverter. This, this is the inverter. This is an inverter, yeah. Uh, uh, is it the... Uh, in, in the front there's a connection box for, this, the, for the charging. This is the inverter for the drivetrain, for the, uh, for the engines in the hubs. And we do have a brake resistor. Mm -hmm. We need to heat up water if we want to have a, a warm interior so we can heat it up with uh, electricity or if we want to break down without wireless, we need to have this resistor. And also um, the interesting part is that uh, solid state batteries, in order for them to dis discharge, they, they can be stored at lower temperatures. But uh, in the working temperature, you want to have a, how, how warm do they have to be? We need to have them heated up to 18 degrees. 80 degrees? 80 Yeah, degrees. 80 degrees. 80 degrees. So inside, can I touch this? Yeah, yeah, you can do it. It's, it's not, not hot. So it's not Because hot. it is very, very good insulated because we want to keep the, the warm inside. So there is... We, we uh, don't lose energy. What, uh, what kind of insulation do you use in here? It is a styropore uh, insulation. Styrofoam? Or the, okay. Styrofoam? Styrofoam, yeah. Ah, so oh, so it, it feels like 20, 25 degrees here, but it is actually 80 degrees inside there. So it is to keep it warm. But we just said the two of these here, right? One, no, the second, second above, and the rest? And the rest, five of these are on the roof. 
So we, in total, we do have seven H uh, high voltage battery clusters in this vehicle. And in total, we do have 441 kilowatt hours. 441. <laughs> it's even, uh, is that even more it's than? Seven, seven modules. That's even, is that even more than the E-Actros? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, yeah, I think so. 440 uh, kilowatt hour. But you see, uh, if you come over here, you yeah, see yeah. that the problem here is that because this is not a truck, it's a bus and you want to have as low... Uh, wait, is this the one you can also open? The yeah, that is uh, the ramp for the wheelchairs oh, yeah, or the Kinderwagen uh, so that they had the easy access. I see, yes, yeah, so if you take it up again, please. Yeah. You see that the problem with the bus is that here is the floor of the bus and then that's the other side. <laughs> it is just so thin. Uh, so there is simply no space for batteries there. It, and is, it is a low floor bus and we need to get the passengers an easy step in and an easy step inside. So we don't want to have any steps. So we don't have any government and we don't have place or space for batteries. This, guys, you guys see, we have to try to ride in this because I wonder what happens, how heavy are the batteries on the roof? Um, we do have five on the roof, each is 500 uh, kilogram. So we, two. you have two and a half ton on the roof, but we do have a body control. The, so, sus the suspension is detected and uh, when the, the bus is going to a curve, it is uh, going against. So we always have a, a vertical bus chassis. Wow, wow, that needs to be tested. Because I also wonder, in a regular uh, Citaro, what is on the roof then? Only the air condition. And how much does that weigh in comparison? About 300 kilo. Okay, not, okay. Not, not really much. Oh, okay. Yeah, and you see, with, with two color uh, roof, they, we can't, they, the designers managed to hide the extra height, so it doesn't look that tall. Hmm, interesting. And uh, let me see, there was some other stuff we can see. Uh, where are the motors, for example? Oh, just, just here. The drive motors are near the hub. This is the hub. And there's one ratio inside. So we, uh, we decline from uh, 1 to 11. And near this hub, close to, to this uh, wire, uh, tire, the engine is inside. Two of them, right? Two of them, each, each side. Uh -huh. And we do have a, um, a power outlet of 285 kilowatt per each engine. That, oh. is, that is more than a diesel engine comes with his, uh, with his gear box. And also the charge port is here, right? Yeah, it's on the right side in the standard. Here on the, on the right side over the, the wheel. But we can also have it on the left side. That is the DC and that is the communication box. So, oh, this, can this one also charge on AC? Is that an onboard charger? Uh, yeah. Oh, unlike yeah. the e no, 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 it is not an AC, it is a DC charging here. Ah, uh, uh, only e DC? It's only DC, yeah. We don't have a charger on board. But also the charging, the, the limitation on this type of battery, the solid state is that uh, this bus, even though it has a humongous battery, it can take 88 kilowatt, right? Charging. Charging... Uh, performance is only 88 kilowatt because of the type of the batteries. They don't want to be charged very fast. The other type of battery, we, we call it NMC, nickel, manganese, and cobalt, it is up to 300 kilowatt hours. But this one not. This is a solid state battery and a solid state battery is a slower charging battery, but the density and the, the, the charging inlet is higher. So the range is higher with a solid state. But you cannot charge it very fast. Hmm. It is not good for opportunity charging. It is for overnight, overnight or depot charging. Interesting. So actually it's only 0.2C. Yeah. So uh, for example, in a Tesla, that would translate to around uh, 15 kilowatt. Well, <laughs> just <laughs> yeah. in comparison. But, but okay. Anyway, I can't wait to get a ride on this. So let's, let's start. All right. So we are now uh, off the road. I mean, just on the parking lot. I want to get a feel of uh, how the ride quality is. It's interesting that we have uh, quite heavy batteries on the roof. Plus that, you know, in Norway we have, um, we have the, um, the BYD buses. 
in traffic all, all around in the city, Oslo. And I want to get a feel of how the ride and the, the noise levels and everything is in the Easy Taro. So, well, let's see. So there's some, uh, <laughs> there's some information here. This is just for the test vehicle, right? Yeah. So do we, what do we see here? What we see on the screen is on, on, the, on the left, it is the, the speed, the, act, the current speed. Now we are slowing down. The green and red sign shows us if we lose energy in driving. Now we are getting much energy into the drivetrain. When he left the pedal, we will recuperate. Now it is on zero, but means we are in a rolling mode. Hmm. We don't lose any energy because the, the weight of the vehicle drives. Then we have state of charge there, I can see. It's and on the right, state of charge. And uh, these are the consumptions of the E-train, of the, of the auxiliaries, as the ventilation and the, the air pump and uh, the uh, climate control and the consumption in total. Do we see a battery temperature anywhere? Battery temperature, no. No, not here, not here. Okay, but uh, oh, this is the first time I ride in the Easy Taro. I can hear there is a slight, there's a slight noise from the drivetrain, I guess. Well, is it the yeah, motor? Yeah, it, it is, it is the, the engines in the hub. So now I'm in the very front. Interesting. Okay, I have to explain to you guys. There are some sandbags here. And this is to actually get um, a more realistic weight of the tr uh, bus, right? Yep. And we have these uh, dummies, or what do you call it? Are they filled with water? Or they are filled with water. Each one is uh, 68 kilos, which means one person. And the rest we do with the sandbags. I see. So uh, the way it is filled up now is more, it's almost a full... Uh, we, we are on the weight of two thirds of a normal bus, means uh, 16 and a half tons. We do have actually in this vehicle. Yeah, with sandbags and stuff here. So this is more realistic. And that is the same way as we do the, the testing of, of uh, consumption. All of the competitors have to do it in the same way. And so we, we do it as, as our own. Let me, uh, let me get in the front again. <laughs> I want to sit down while we are driving. Oh, let me sit down here. Oh. So let's see. This is, this is not only uh, just a room. I mean, this is not only just to take a look at the solid state, but I also want to get a feel of how the Easy Taro is. Because I kind of feel like the, the BYD bus is a bit noisy. But I'm not sure. Um, I mean, Mercedes, right? They should have good soundproofing. <laughs> no, we, we didn't change the interior. We didn't change the vehicle, the basic. We just changed the drivetrain. So no clapping sounds of, of the interior is coming up because there's nothing new. All is proved or improved. Now we are riding a really, really typical city line. Mm -hmm. It will be a narrow road, but that is uh, the, the usual day work of a bus driver. Yeah, let me get a feel. I can show you that the, the road is also semi-bumpy. Suspension seems to uh, soak up the, the bumps quite well. And I also got the feeling when we were driving in curves and roundabouts that there was some kind of body control trying to uh, mitigate the problem with the weight of the battery in the roof. So we're now in some twisty roads going uphill. Achtung, spielen die Kinder. Is that playing kids? Playing kids, yeah. <laughs> Pay attention. So this, this bus has been, the motors has plenty of power, but it has been, uh, I think you mentioned it, that it has been artificially limited for the well, comfort of passengers. Yeah, 
because we do have standing people, we do have uh, people with bags uh, and, and they, they just grab at, at the handrails and we don't want to have acceleration to keep them uh, in the back. So we, we reduce the acceleration on a fixed point. Uh, we, we do not uh, talk about the torque on the, on the wheels, we just talk about the comfortable acceleration out of a bus station out of zero to to come into uh, the, the traffic so just like in the e-actros we have this uh, recuperation button well it's, it's standard on trucks right is it this it is uh, standard on trucks it's yeah. got, is it engine brake or what they was called retarder oh, a retarder in the diesel so when you push that one you activate region you can see it on the power meter it's like a constant region thing so truck drivers, they are used to that. Oh, that's, oh, okay, five, what is it, five steps? Five steps. Okay. Well, of course, uh, here you can either use the handle that many truck drivers or bus drivers are used to, or you can just push the brake pedal. It will also achieve this. But we have a button for direct recuperation. Ah, one this pedal. Would be the direct recuperation. Now it's one pedal driving. Yeah. Huh, cool. That is a one pedal driving. So I guess it's, uh, this is cool that you have that option. Then the driver can choose which mode they want yep. that fits the need. I, I, will, uh, I would imagine that EV drivers, if they just happen to drive EVs and they are bus drivers, they might want to use the, the one pedal driving mode. <laughs> 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 but also the, the, the position, driving position here just looks more or less like a regular Citaro. Yeah, there's only one difference. Uh, here we have our um, power, meter. power meter instead of the display for the revolutions of the engine. And the rest is the same. And this is the idea behind it. Um, we have a lot of customers that have both vehicles, diesel driven and electric driven vehicles. And um, for the driver, it's quite easy to change from one to the other because um, almost everything is the same. Hmm. So we are back now at uh, the factory and you can see here this is the number you want to look for so this is just additional data that of course in the normal production is not in there but uh, you see the consumption is 90.1 it was actually 89.9 .9 or something when we arrived but uh, the car is using some uh, HVAC while we're stationary you can see the E the, the lowest number here that's the the energy going for uh, for auxiliary which is HVAC and then the drivetrain is 80 so uh, you can imagine in winter that portion is going to be higher plus that we didn't open or close the door for normal operation uh, how is this again the the auxiliary part will be way higher right especially yeah, in winter yeah, yeah because of opening doors and uh, more air conditioning can it be as much as 50 percent or it will it be like half and half it, it will be half and half yeah yeah <laughs> that's crazy but this also translates to 900 watt hour per kilometer total for this trip. Uh, we just drove around town and a little bit of highway. Um, so 900 watt hour per kilometer sounds like a lot, but guys, you have to remember that it's a big bus with lots of load also. So we have around to find around out. Around about 80 persons we, we carry in. 18, okay. And 18, do you know? 80, 80. Uh, the curb weight is 14 ton and uh, 300. Mm -hmm. Plus, plus. Uh, uh, this is load. the front and the rings. The load here is six. So that was pretty cool. This is the first time I experienced easy Taro and solid state batteries. And actually, these easy Taros, they are on the road right now, right? Yeah. They are already dr driving around. We, we delivered since three years these vehicles. The solid state, uh, we, we started this year. Ah, so the, so the, the NMC battery has been on in. Driving, driving three yeah. years yeah, already. Three years already. Okay, well, I, I didn't know. I guess you guys didn't know. <laughs> and the solid state is already available. So I guess we'll see if they will arrive in other cities also. So I know that in, Nor in Norway, Oslo, they use uh, BYD buses and they also use the V, what is it called? VDL. VDLs. So BYD is uh, from China and VDL is from uh, Netherlands. Netherlands. Maybe we'll see some easy Taurus. <laughs> we hope so. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, thank you so much for the trip and for all the information. Yeah, welcome. So, um, I think that's going to be it for now. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.